Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a brief overview of everything we've learned in the previous videos to a little bit of customization to our theme development to bundling and pushing our theme after we've live previewed it to our storefront. So currently we are going to need to start by creating a new API token this was the original one from the original video we're going to keep the name delete create a new API stencil we can give it the same name but in order to bundle and push a theme Instead of being on local development only, we want to be published theme. We're just going to copy this terminal quick start real quick for later use. We are then going to pull a clone of our cornerstone, a clone of our cornerstone theme. I know we had originally done this, but I felt it best if we take you through all the steps in this video, since it is the last of our basic onboarding. We will then go to Finder. Oh already selected cornerstone. Let's rename this cornerstone custom. We will open a terminal at this folder. We will then proceed to do an npm install. And while we're doing that, we can also in our visual editor install. Okay. After that install, we can put our little code that we copied for our stencil in it. Start. We will check our local host. That is there. All right. So now on to doing a little edit to our theme. Now our theme is currently here, but let's say we want to do something small, something simple. Say I want to make the background blue. Well, I'd come over to my config file, find the body background color, and let's just uh, make this a nice, just a nice pretty blue. Just a nice. And let's see how that looks. Oh, that is a nice blue background. Well, now that we have that saved, 
let's say we take this synced theme that we have and upload it to our current theme. And the way we're going to do that is going to come here. We are going to leave our browser sync. We're going to bundle our theme. And what this is essentially doing is just compressing and zipping our theme down for the changes that we've made. And you can load your theme these steps. Ways. You have successfully uh, taken your first steps I in the theme preferably development. Prefer to use a stencil push, but there are other downloading ways that you a theme, can bundle and push your bundling, theme, pushing um, a theme, and creating a successful a drop API in. token for your theme to the control panel. These are loading themes. Um, Just the basic steps I know for, for onboarding, demo, we are but going to once you get comfortable with this, it'll become a lot easier, especially push. when we get into more advanced dental setup and further videos down the road. And delete that last bit. for this to just finish loading. And we'll apply this to our store. And there you have it. If you have successfully run through all the steps, you have taken your first steps into theme development. Um, I know it can seem like a lot uh, for the onboarding process, but once you get more comfortable with it, it'll come a lot more natural and it'll be a lot more helpful down the road when we get into more advanced stencil theme development videos and tutorials down the road. I hope you've enjoyed this video series and found it helpful. And I look forward, as always, in seeing you in the next one.